He's this ambassador that has just outlived everybody else. I'm curious about your take on Stan's legacy is quite complicated. I think he unfairly gets a lot of the grief from fans who hold what Marvel did to Jack Kirby against Stan. And I'm curious to hear your, your take on things because you have a you have much different perspective on things knowing Stan personally and having worked for Marvel. Right. So I don't know all the details of it, but uh, I, you know, I've known Stan for over 30 years. Stan is just one of the cogs that was in the system back then. Um, and I don't think it's right for us to be looking at the creative people against each other as the bad guys, right? So Stan at that, at that point and whatever else, whether he stood up for Jack or not, I don't know where his, what his position was when the fight was going down for the original artwork. But Stan doesn't own any of those characters any more than Jack Kirby did or I did or anybody else, right? So it's not like he's the CEO of, of the corporation. Um, and, and at some point, he's become an, an ambassador. I think one of the things that's hurting Stan, which may be an odd comment that I'm about to make, is that he's lived so long. And so all those people he worked with, Don Hack and Gesema and Gil Kane and, and, and Ditko and, and, and Herb Trimpey and all these guys, the vast majority of them have passed away. So what they see is Stan's now getting a lot of the limelight of it. Um, and, and there's people that are going, well, why is he getting the limelight and the other guys didn't? Well, well they're just physically not here to share the limelight. And I think that Stan understands it. Maybe he didn't at some point, I don't know, but he does now that it's like, it, it's, it's a light to be shared with others. Um, and people go, oh, the creator of Spider-Man and he's, you know, one of the first to cor correct it and go, no, 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 I co-create, right? With, you know, some very good artists and stuff. Um, but he can't, they're, they're not around. They're not around for him to share it. He's, he's this ambassador that has just outlived everybody else uh, and so either that's a magnificent thing because I hope we all get to 94 and go to conventions and draw the crowds in like and, he and does. And be a rock star. And be a rock star, right? Uh, but I, I, I'm sure if you were to talk to Stan and he had more power and or just hindsight, I'm sure he would have played his cards slightly different. I don't think it was out of malice and going, yeah, I'm gonna get another creative pro. I think all of that is, is silly, right? Corporations are run by executives and, and profit takers, and that's what they do, efficiencies of profit, and, and that's how they make their decisions. And so I'm, 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 I'm not gonna begrudge other creative people when, when there's a bigger enemy to have a conversation about, which are the people who are not creative, right? Let's talk, let's talk about them first. Let's make sure they get their house in order, and then we'll come down to ours a little bit.